Hello and welcome back. My name is Joel Duggan. If you are just tuning in and we are in Satisfactory here on the Twitch channel and we are getting ready for the 1.0 release on September 10th and we have this giant save which was, has uh, over a thousand hours in it and we were on stream yesterday specifically backtracking through a bunch of different stuff. I believe I still have the drive sheet handy. Yes, I do. So I went through uh, in between streams and took care of the labeling that I wanted to with Bay 4, Bay 1A, and Bay 1B. This is all the copper that is going into the heavy modular frame factory. So we sorted out what's happening there. Uh, really, a lot of this is accurate. So here we've got modular frames. We've got the overflow of reinforced iron plates. We've got the overflow of heavy encased um, frames. And then we've got them going to an awesome sink as well as a box. Uh, this, I don't think, has an extra storage box. Uh, the extra storage box is probably um, along here somewhere. So if I pop over there, we'll see what's going on. And hopefully this will make sense, too, with the way that I do the sheet and the way that the world is laid out. So, as I mentioned before, anything that's yellow is temporary and or is overflow. So we've got our box of extra heavy modular frames here. And then anything overflow is being sent to an awesome sink down this way. So you'll see they're all getting fed over here. And eventually making it into this awesome sink. Uh, you'll see them come through here. You'll also notice that there are some iron plates, reinforced iron plates coming off of this and also some coming in from up here. And all that is, uh, is um, the overflow from this facility. So what's happening here is we have planned to pull 60 iron, reinforced iron plates per minute for crystal oscillators, but it's not hooked up yet. So what's happening is that the 60 is actually coming out the back end here and going to an awesome sink. And then this is the overflow for the heavy modular frames that's been happening. So that's all accurate. That's done and working. Uh, we've finished the signs and the copper. So I think the next thing, I don't really feel like we are missing too much over here. Everything over here seems to be working quite well. I feel like the the question mark that I had was um, what we were doing with some of the extra copper. So we have this stuff here and we've determined that these are going up to base 5 and 6, this is going to base 2 and 3, and then 300 per minute is just not hooked up yet. So we know that 2 and 3, or sorry, 4, is it 4? I feel like I've messed up here. Yeah, I don't think it's Bay 4. Let me just double check that. Yeah, I think it's... 3 is going upstairs. It's Bay 2. that means that that would change over here. Yeah, that makes more sense. Um, and then the other stuff is down here. 
this is where I don't have the bay details and so I want to add those. So right now we're not separating out the constructors. Um, we've got yeah I've got to I've got to separate these out and that should be easy enough to do. So we've got uh, one A and B, two, three, four, and then five and six upstairs. Five and six are up here. So, I've got one A, one B, two, three, four, and then on the next level is a five and a six. I mean, technically, oh crap. Technically, 1B is on the next floor. So, copper wire, and that's base. Right, okay, so I have that correct. This is coming in here. I believe it's getting split. No. This is going into bay two. And one A and B, if I remember correctly, is actually being fed from bay three downstairs. So up here, smelter bay three, that's what's happening there. Um, these 300 constructors, where are these going? Smelter bay two. So smelter bay two is going to copper wire and bay four. Yeah, you're going this way. That goes all the way down here to bay number four. Okay, so this is where my sheet is wrong. This does not go to stitched iron plates. This, constructors, there should be 20 in bay four and they should be making wire. That's what they're doing. That is mark five. Yep, 600 wire, uh, but that is going to eventually stators and rotors. Do I have a stairs and rotors tab? That's a question. Let's just see.
Yep, rotors, stators, motors. Right. So... That is the end of the line for copper number one. It just it's confusing because they get merged on the main bus and then they get split again. Just because it's more convenient to bring them in one um, one belt like on single belt. Yeah, it's easy to get lost in the spreadsheet too, I agree. So I feel like I need more wire. So here's a good, good diagram too. So here's all the awesome things we're currently doing. We need 1,500 wire per minute. Twelve hundred, fifteen hundred. But then the rest has got to go down to stators. I think I underestimated how much wire I needed. Yeah, two thousand wire. And we're not. We've got three, fifteen. Yeah, so the idea here is that it looks like I'm supposed to be doing it with iron wire. Ah, and that is what we were going to do with that extra refinery row, was additional copper ingots. A seventh constructor bay making 600 wire, and we still come up short. So that is what that extra refinery row five was going to be. Okay, well that's good. I can mark that in the world actually. It's just nice to have notes both in the game and in the spreadsheet. So five would be 300 per minute. Why do I have in the spreadsheet that it's gonna make 600 per minute? Oh, it makes 600 wire, 300 ingots. Uh, so that will eventually be Um, copper wire base 7 and the idea I'm not sure how I would get it up there I guess there is room in the front here to bring something straight up. Yeah. So we'll go put down the hypothetical base seven. Pretty sure it's already laid out or at least the space is there for it. Whoops. So that is what's going to be there. Now, do I? I might even have a slice of that blueprint. Production wire. Wire double out. Wire times four. Is this a double out? 
That's a double out. Just to have one. How are all these facing? Coming in from the back. I think that's right. Now, do I remember how to lock? Is it right click? No. Nope. Build mode, blueprint, default blueprint. H to hologram. Got it. Hopefully they're right they're the right color. Yep. Okay, that looks like looks like what we want. just put this why is it sideways Probably because the pillar's sideways. And then it did it right side up that time. What the crap? Hopefully they fix this stuff. Yeah, it was a problem before, too. Okay. Cool. So that's where base 7 is going to be. All right. So that's... Five, which is way, way, way down here. And I believe I had changed the design of the building and actually pushed out. Yeah, we're going to have the smokestacks stick out the side of it, I think. Okay. I'm not sure where the extra water is coming from. I guess I was going to put more down there. So the stators and rotors are kind of where this factory is is at. We haven't really gone much beyond that on the copper side of things. So really, I feel like everything else should be pretty straightforward. I think the problem is that I had some bad notes on um, on the previous uh, heavy modular frames thing. 
so bay two. And so now I want to do is have the other bays here. So we've got currently two. There will be three. So this can actually go up here. Um, pure copper ingots is going to be 300. This will go into bay seven. And that will do 20 constructors. I think each bay has got 20. Yep. Upstairs, the same thing. I figured I'd do this now where it's nighttime. Because I can't really see much in the factory. So, base 7, and this will eventually go to stators and rotors. Currently, it will go to an awesome sink. But I should say that this is not built. Actually, you know what? Let's put that in its own little note. I do have more tickets than I can use. I guess it depends on what the awesome shop is going to give us, right? In the in the full release. Okay, so that's eventually going to be stators and rotors. I feel like this is also going to eventually be stators and rotors. So this pure ingots, this goes to bay two. I think I need to double check that that's one belt. I think I remember this from yesterday. So we've got the first phase one and two. And that should be going to simple constructor bay two. In the future, when I plan a new factory or new new sections of this factory, I'll try to line up like certain things from bay one and bay two, you know? So that is no, that goes all the way up to the top. And this... So, refinery one and two do top floor five and six. So I had this wrong.
So refinery bay one plus two. This will be refinery bay three and four. So that's bay five and six. Copper wire bays. Uh, five and six are not going to stitched iron plates. Where are they going? I may have forgot to put the spreadsheet up just a second ago. I wish there was better ways to get up and down. I feel like the stairs in this game take up way more room than I want them to. And I don't know where my other staircase is. I thought I had another staircase going up to the top here, but I guess I don't. So five doesn't have a sign on it. That's going into, these are all getting destroyed. So five, six, and seven, I think those are on my rotors sheet. Those are going phase three, four, and five are going to rotors. So what I should do is separate this out. And then we'd have Does twenty constructors make six hundred water? Pretty sure it does, right? Yeah. So six is going to an awesome sink. Yay, math, right? So bay five and six coming off one and two, and then we just do the same thing here. So I'll just add like another three lines. This is constructors don't actually know what bay that is yet. Well, five and six, it has to be three and four, right? It's a good thing we're in game and we can just check. So 
So that's the right hand side coming up here. But I need to know if that's coming all the way from the basement. Yes. So that is three and four. Does anybody remember the button to hide your hand? The H? Yeah, okay. That's going up on the right hand side. Yeah, I wish we had elevators. I know hypertubes are a thing, but I wish it was just a little bit easier to get around without taking up so much space. So this is being split and then running all the way down here. So that is indeed three, oh, it's two and three. So this is the one that goes to Stitch iron plates. Bay five goes to rotors. This can actually just go here. And then bay three is the one that we want to double check. I feel like the tricky part is that you never get your stairs to come out to where you want them to. And again, stairs and rotors, top floor. Yep. Okay. Makes sense. So that is just going to be a copy of this. Not the main bus. I should maybe make that bold. So we've got five bays of refineries, one to two, three to four, and five. Five is not built yet, and these are all being allocated to the rotors, stators, and motors tab. Perfect. That is exactly the kind of detail that I want to not overlook. And I don't want to miss out on any of these little notes either. Check the overclock. 480 on copper node number seven. Copper node number seven is, I want to say this guy over here. Yep. Let's go check it out. I think it's on that belt right there. What else do you want to check before 1.0? I want to go back and check my other factory too.
It's weird because I'm not really doing much building because I don't see the point until we have all the new building parts. Four hundred and eighty. So this could be overclocked too. So we might have to increase that. So it's not a 250, it's currently at 200. So while I'm moving along this belt here, this is... 200%. I think it needs to be higher. So refineries are bringing in 15 copper ore per minute. Eight is 120. Twenty times five is 600. Yeah. So this will need to be uh, 250% before refinery bay 5 can Cool. So we know that we have to overclock that before we can build Refinery Bay 7. And this is... Yeah. Do that. So Refinery Bay 5. Sorry. I am stuck somewhere. Zoom, zoom. Once we get all the new parts, it'll be really fun to actually finish this build. Give it an outside. There's so many holes in it, it feels really amateur. Okay, so that is the copper stuff. Pretty much sorted. I don't see anything here that's anything going too haywire. I added a couple things to the main bus. We're going to have more coal nodes actually in the rocky desert, I think, too. So this is all western slopes. We don't have to worry about that just yet. Red forest is also... Yeah, the... Remember the bauxite's a mess. Some stuff, it's like, it's not worth the trouble to go fix and build something because, of course... Um, it's um it's subject to change so that's why we're kind of at a standstill in terms of actually building stuff i do know that we've got our aluminum up and running though so i guess the thing now is um to just See if there's anything around here that could use some cleaning up. I don't think I left anything down here. A 
Also, never decided on whether or not I wanted to bring a train up this way. But now there's no storage modules out this way. No vehicles either, so I obviously have not... Well, the vehicles are all downstairs, I think. Yeah, there's some weird power pole stuff happening too. And I don't know... I don't know if this has to be here or not. Again, I'm not going to remove these trees either because they could end up growing back in the 1.0 release. This just kind of goes to nowhere, doesn't it? You're part of the main grid, but you're not connected to anything. So this is the kind of stuff I want to do, is just kind of remove some of these nonsensical... I don't think there's another power node. Not using that to drop that down, am I? No, it doesn't look like it. I guess it would tell me if there would be another connection, right? Right. So this, none of this actually um, the tracks don't need to be here because the train now comes in over there. So I was debating on whether I wanted to rethink because this road exists purely for trucks to come in and out of here and I've I had planned on putting in truck stations down here and I absolutely have not done it. But I'm wondering if trucks might be how we have to bring in some of the caterium. Because I don't have any more free train stations, I don't think. Oh, I forgot that we had sort of messed around with the train design. Hmm. Yeah, floating power poles. Stuff like that I want to get rid of. I'm happy with this end. I, I like the way that this looks. I mean, minus the little access port, but... We've got construction station one. We've got hook. I don't remember what hook is doing. Hook is not hooked up. Okay. We have one extra train. That's scavenger. That's scrapper. I feel like scrapper is hooked up doing something. Coal. Bone crusher. That's the sulfur and caterium quartz. So bone crusher is um, western slopes. Bone crusher collection station. Yep. What's up here? Crater like coal. And then Mixmaster is the bauxite train. Okay. Yeah, so right now all of the trains come in and they go to the, the right here. And they, it's very temporary. Uh, it's not the best looking situation. The idea was that I was gonna decide if they were going to split off and go underneath and then go straight down through the middle of the base. Because I do want to have a train drop off stuff to Devastator. And the idea was for that train to come right down the middle of the main bus. I would move the hypertube. But I have not done that yet.
I think a train coming along here would be really cool. So the other thing to think about, see that, like all of this stuff over here is temporary. I don't really want that to be there. I want to think of a different way to run the main rail network. I might end up doing something closer to that or over here. Because we've got to bring plastic and rubber out of the Megatron power facility as well. I mean, like that place is still not finished either. I think, yeah, I've only designed... Like the full final design is only done on like a four or five of those plat platforms. We still have so many to do. I guess that's another place to check for stuff as well. I think somebody yesterday on stream was asking about the um, the signals. And so you can see as soon as this locomotive goes across a signal, it'll change. So you'll be able to see that right away. I don't have very many down here because nothing ever comes down here but me. Some weird piping I don't remember doing. No, I don't need the extra power. I just want this to look good. That's the only thing. So we've got circuit boards, some bits and bobs, motors. Most of this was the kind of things we needed to build this facility. Oh, that's handy to know. Okay. And then gas. So you can see the final design of these platforms looks like like this. Um, with these little lights on the side and these details in there and the purple lights in the bottom. Uh, but we've obviously not done that on on some of these, right? Something that I was doing one little bit at a time. I feel like I got farther than this, though. I feel like I'm missing some some stuff. But sometimes you log in and you have the idea to build something. Oops, autosave. And then you end up being lost in something else. Yeah, I think I had just started doing the final design as well. Uh, but this place, if I go down the middle one. Yes. But I started to put in a train station back here to eventually collect the rubber and plastic. And the idea was to have these trains come through here, come through the main hall here, come in there and get the stuff and turn around and come back. 
Because this is the kind of thing that I want to do for all of my factories. I want them to look spaced out and cool and final designed. And so there's some stuff at Devastator that I'm not super happy with. Um, not that I'm going to redo it, but I think the, the interior design is something uh, of Devastator that I really want to work on. I've been really happy with this. Streams at an hour. Thank you, Sandy. Yes. Appreciate the reminder. And so here, like, we've got like the bowels of this and I want to create like a control room right now I think it's just basically like this and a few other switches but it looks really cool at night but all of our our rubber and plastic that's being made in excess in these machines is just being stored here and then destroyed here for overflow so I want to take all of this and store it on a train which I mean I don't want to put, we could try to put a train station here but I didn't want to have a train station be something you drove through here so we can belt all that stuff down probably underground There's a lot of decoration and stuff that needs to happen. All of these hypertubes are are temporary because um, it just makes it faster to get around the build. And if I wanted to go all the way up, give everybody a bird's eye view. Looks cool during the day, too. Thanks. It's big. It's a monstrous build. I'll look it up on the spreadsheet, but there's actually like a... It's 60,000 megawatts? Like, it is... It's almost as big as Devastator. When you think about all the refineries here that fuel it and take care of the excess... All of the mid-floor blenders that create the, the diluted fuel. And then there's something like 120 fuel generators. But there's four floors. Each floor is like an X or a plus sign. So if I bring up the sheet for this, the Megatron power facility. Yeah, 60,000 megawatts. 400 fuel generators, pardon me, not 120. Um, 48 blenders making diluted fuel. All from just four crude oil nodes, which I really hope don't move and don't change in their density. If that gets messed around, then this is going to be a real problem because this is a two-year-old build. Um, yeah, so that's, that's a really tight... Um, construction so i'm really happy with the insides it's just that because it's so large the outsides have just taken forever and you can see what i've kind of started to do with the transformer theme right pull in some of the red lights and i'm trying to play around with how to make that look cool i like the angles like i like the construction and the lines i'm now playing around with the details uh, and this is of course based off of megatron uh the transform the decepticon leader that's why it's all gray and red. It's got some blue and stuff inside too, but anyway, I should take that break. Always a good idea to listen to the moderators. So we'll just get on the train and Devastator Hub at a timetable. That sounds about right. Cool. I will be right back, folks. Give me five or six minutes.
All right, we're almost back at the start. Where's the next stop? Yay, that works out very well. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Dan. I do forget sometimes how loud trains are. I sometimes feel like I'm shouting over them. That was one heck of a stop. So I guess the only thing I wanted to check out beyond that... There's a bunch of stuff around here that's just temporary. Don't even remember why this is here other than to illustrate zip lining maybe. These guys are not producing anything. This is supposed to be concrete for something. Not hooked up anymore. I wonder what happened there. I obviously unhooked it on purpose. That I thought... Oh, you know what? I think I don't need these anymore. I'm bringing the limestone in from somewhere else. There's the concrete that it would have been producing. Is that just coming in off the belt, maybe? I would say that's a likely, likely situation. That's concrete going there. This concrete is coming from over here. Oh, it's the byproduct. Right. I think it's like a silica byproduct thing. Yeah, it's aluminum byproduct. Yeah, I needed to do something with the extra water from aluminum. He's supposed to be overclocked? Probably. Yep. So the extra water from the aluminum is being made into concrete. That was the thing. I don't know why this is not powered, though. That seems odd. Why do you not have power? Weird. Yeah, like that's not hooked up to anything. Are these not hooked up to anything at all? They were probably all temporarily powered that way and then they're now powered from above. Yeah, so that, that doesn't need to be there either. That's just confusing. I probably did it actually to fly around. I was probably using it for the power pack. Yeah, Sandy. Same brain. <laughs> same brain, Sandy. Just had the same thought at the same time. Make sure that these are not hooked up to anything. I think that's probably what all of these are. 
That's what I wanted to do though, is like double check some connections, remove some some needless things. Cause this is all almost done. Uh, is it that color? Nope. Go. Probably still had some lighting or something I wanted to do in here. Yeah, there's no lights at all. It's the lights on the walls. Kind of glad I never got anything massive going in satisfactory. No prep work for 1.0. Just started over from scratch again. Yeah, no, that would be... That would be a decent way to do it. So I'm going to leave the hypertubes, obviously. Uh, although, I'm going to make sure that this one gets power. Or I could just power that from the other side, maybe. What a mess. One of the first things I'm going to do with the new update is probably look at the storage room and see if I can start building around that. Alright, so we know that we're building um, a certain number of things here. I'm just trying to think about what we're not building here. I don't think we have... I think we have steel beams. Furthest you ever got was oil power. Yeah, we're on um, diluted fuel. That's what the. I'm not sure if you saw ahead of the break, but we've got a power facility there in the distance. So that's 60,000 megawatts hanging out there. So that's why I didn't want to start over. Had that not existed, I probably would have started over. But I did a lot of measuring to get this in the right spot, too. So that part was tricky. Uh, do I see any... We've got steel pipes. I don't know if I've got steel beams happening anywhere. Structure steel pipes. Solid steel ingots, solid steel ingots. We'll just explore. Do I have stairs anywhere? I do, I do, I do. Pipes. Pipes. So I think the idea was that we were going to make steel beams over on the other side. Over there, maybe? It does look really cool with all the stuff just moving along. I prefer the steady stream than the stuttery stream, and I don't know how to fix the stutter. There just doesn't seem to be anything I can do to fix the stutter. So I don't know whether that's a performance thing or whether that's a 
player error. I don't see any any foundries over here, so maybe I'm not planning on doing a steel over here. North Steel Foundry Pipes. Steel pipe, steel pipe, steel pipe. We're doing pipes, not beams. I really, I think the only time I'm doing beams is at the original factory, the starter factory. Yeah, so pipes for encased industrial beams, pipes for motors, pipes for motors, and then 30 to heavy modular frames. I remember all that. Then we've got more steel pipes that have to happen. Yeah, currently only 270 available. So this is where we this is where we left off in the stators and the motors. We got real close on the rotors, but we don't have enough wire. Just cuz it takes Oh no, sorry. Yeah, we just never we never built the rotors because we were trying to balance out the stators and rotors. So there's the cable production. And then turbo motors. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So we can't do anything there. I don't know why I don't have any steel beams being made. So this is all copper, and it's mostly copper wire. There's really nothing else going on. I don't know if I've ever noticed that galaxy before. That's cool. I know we've got some top-level aluminum happening. I feel like a lot of the aluminum casing is just being synced. Yeah. But I don't have any heat sinks yet. Batteries, huge modular frames, radio control units. Yeah, okay. So... I remember balancing all that out. So really it's it's the the mystery is why we're not making steel beams anywhere. And I don't know if I have the steel marked down anywhere. Probably for heavy modular frames. Yeah, there's all the steel. Yeah, there's the 770 going to South Motors. Void Presence says, I don't plan to have a mega factory, but rather a distributed factory. And I've never gotten that far to see how to, to stick to the planner lot. Yeah, this is just, this isn't necessarily a mega factory. I don't think I'm going to be building everything here. Like if we ever get to the nuclear side of things, I'm not going to do it here. We're going to have to go somewhere else. The only problem with having factories near the resources is that sometimes when you make things out of the resources, you end up with more things. So like a screw factory 
like you don't want to have a screw factory you want to make screws on site for the for the next thing because screws are just there's so many they just they eat up your belt space so this is all mostly local resources and then i'm moving stuff that i'm making in the factory down along the bus and this is going to get us a decently high volume i don't think i'm going to be exporting anything from here the idea i think for me is going to be to move the space elevator to this area and use some of the higher structures on devastator to make um to make space elevator parts Yeah, make screws on site where they're needed. That makes sense too. All right, well, let's go. Let's get in the vehicle and we'll go check out the original factory. Because I'm pretty sure I'm just like making and storing stuff. I don't quite have a train route there. I sort of do, but I feel like a vehicle is probably faster. I forgot how hard these things are to drive. Does this have a new noise? It looks got a new noise. Yeah, I can delete a lot of this stuff too. Oh, hopefully I don't go off the edge. <laughs> I feel like we're not skipping around on the platforms anymore either. Maybe I'm just so used to being on the trains and this is nowhere near as loud. You were in the road. Yeah, this has all been grown over as well. Because of the forest. thought it was neat in some of the videos that they were sharing recently that they will not be um, your vehicle won't destroy small plants anymore only like medium sized plants and above the idea is that I think to make the, the world look nicer yeah some of this is just hot garbage I would I would like to eventually delete this whole thing. Man, I don't remember the vehicles being this hard to control. Alright, for anybody that hasn't been here, this is the starter factory. And it's weird location. I'm not sure why I chose here. But we've got power is coal. Obviously it's not working very well. We've got uh, screws and rods. We've got, or plates and rods. Sorry, screws and rods, plates. More screws over there. Oil products over there, rubber and plastic. We are making everything up to computers on the top shelf. So circuit boards, computers. And then down below, we've got some steel. I am wondering why our coal is fluctuating. I guess our truck is not doing the best. But this is the only place I think in this save that I'm actually making steel beams. Yeah. And it does not look like it's going very well.
if at all. So another reason why I might want to cap this place is that it's obviously not keeping up with changes in recent updates. There's a point in the northern forest where we start from iron, limestone, copper, all very uh, close to each other and rich. I think that's being changed in 1.0. Yeah, I know what you mean. The place out on the cliff's edge. Yeah, it's um, it's here. Yeah, this this is where I am on the map, from my starter base. It's right here. I don't know why I chose here. It was really hard. Yeah, this is at a standstill. So I'm wondering what's going on. I don't think this is on the main power grid. Oh, it is. Okay. So it's only that the coal stuff is not being productive. I wonder if a lot of it... See, a lot of this is daisy-chained. And I imagine my storage bins are probably just full. Yeah. So anything that's being filled up, right, is just at a standstill. Although that doesn't explain why the sheets are not being filled. So that's manual. So what are these guys not getting? Not getting steel ingots. Where are the steel ingots coming from? It's so hard when you don't have things color coded. Like in the new factory, everything is color coded. And these guys are not getting coal. My guess is that one of my trucks out here is not running. Aha. Don't know. Maybe I should just move him. Man, this got really hard to control. Load path, save path. Where are you going? Wow. Jeez. Well, it's working now. That was weird. I probably don't need this node. There's a pause node over there. So 
So I feel like he'll get fueled up. This doesn't have... That's probably what's happening. Probably... I didn't check to see what kind of fuel reserves he had. I feel like one of these should be splitting off and fueling. Why is this? Yeah, that that doesn't do exist. Uh, probably a smart splitter, or just a regular splitter would do it. That should go into there. Once it's got a stack, it'll stop. I'm not entirely sure. He might have a fuel loop at the other end, too. And of course, I can't see him. Uh, there he is there. All right, well, it's still working. I would use trucks, but they are hard to control. Yeah, yeah, they they were a little easier. This guy just has a lot of trouble with the hills, and eventually he'll just get. Yeah, like, he kind of phases back to where he's supposed to be after some attempts. So, this was, again, all made before they made the changes to tractors and trucks. So the fact that this still works at all is surprising. Yeah, okay. Takes a little bit of fuel. Okay. So that coal is going along here and then eventually making its way down into our foundries. Void presence. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. So these are now working again, which means that these are now working again. Which means that all of this is now working again. So we've got beams coming in. Those are full, so that's going to stop. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. I think this is just a spare container. I think it was plastic. I think I was siphoning off some plastic. I imagine that what's happening upstairs is that our computers are probably full. Which is not a bad problem to have. Screws are being overflowed. Which means we've been making heavy modular frames here as well. That means that circuit boards are probably full. Copper sheets, computers are full. Got circuit boards are full. I think that was meant to to be a double, but it's not. Good to know they've got another bin of plastic up here too. That's nice. Yeah, so I don't know. I've always been on the fence about tearing all this down. 
It's kind of fun to leave your starter factory in the world, kind of know where you came from. But it's not the cleanest look. It's not finished at all. And there's a lot of just like make go, please do happening. I actually also don't remember where we are in the space elevator. I guess there was a hypertube I could have taken. Right, so we are at, I don't remember what phase that is. Assembly director systems. Yeah, we're not making any of that stuff. So we are miles from any, any new space elevator parts, that's for sure. Not bad to have a backup with things. Yeah, I know that's fair, but like, look at this. This fancy belt work. Past Joel, oh boy. We streamlined it a little bit, but it's not the best. And obviously we've got trees that have grown up through it. It's very compact and very messy because it's very compact. And then we've got this other, this is another way that we were powering all this before it got overgrown. It is kind of funny to see it overgrown. It almost looks like it's older than it really is. And these are actually not spinning up properly either. And it's cause the coal is not making it up here. Yeah, the coal is not consistent. Man, what a wild mess this is. So I would be very tempted to strip this down for a more streamlined future. Because we did actually have plans for a train station. That is not what I wanted to do. So you can see over here, I was planning what was going to be a train station. And I was going to bring a lot of this, these products and have them be put on the train and have this be kind of like my production filthy for my inventory. So like computers for storage, like all that kind of stuff. Because we make so few. And over here, you can see where I was trying to get the train tracks to come up. I just didn't get there. We never really got that far. Yeah, there, there's probably some recipe changes, I think, that happened. Because this was like... Four years ago? Five years ago? Easily. This is back when I thought this was big. And Devastator just dwarfs it. Like this, you can see everything right here in render distance. Like it's all like right here. I mean, there's some things that we could keep, but yeah, I'd like to. Uh... The real thing is like we we took this. This oil that's like right here in front of me is coming from like way over here. There's a bridge over this way and we go up through this crack and bring it over here. So it's, uh, yeah, there's no oil power. We're only making oil products. It's all coal powered. Well, I mean, now that it's hooked up to the main grid via these towers, it's it's being powered by Megatron, but originally it was all coal power. Factory from the before times? No, that's very, very, very fair. Yeah, so I don't see a lot of use in deleting or doing anything up here. Yeah. 
I know I'm going to have to delete and work on the Caterium section. I think really a lot of it is just like we really can't change much. And there's not a lot of point in deleting too much if we don't know. Yeah, this this has got a lot harder to control. I, I am not a fan of the new controls for the buggy. It's also giving me a lot of frame rate issues. So we've got Caterium hanging out there on the left. A little Caterium Caterpillar, which I think I could do a better job of. Uh, and then over here on the right, we've got the Caterium being turned into wire, I think, or ingots. And then we've also got copper in here. And this is one of those areas that I know is getting an overhaul. So again, this is not fancy in the grand scheme of things it's pretty temporary so i feel like here is a situation where we've got some really like high-end copper nodes and it's all set to be smelted but of course we haven't done it yet and i think it's because i might want to put it through refineries instead because at the time we didn't have um pure ingots we just had the regular ingots and if I need more copper, because I don't have enough wire down at Devastator for those rotors that we talked about earlier, you know, like if we brought up the sheet again and we looked at the rotors, you know, like I'm I'm short on wire here and I'm also short on steel, right? So we could bring in iron from up here. We could bring in other stuff from up here because there's already a train. There's a train station just on the other side of this rock. And this is all set to go, but not doing anything. So there's uh, like ideas like that we have to think about. But again, if they change the purity of these, then it becomes less of an incentive to build something up here. So we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, you never used to be able to do a, a U-turn quite that quickly either. So here's the train station there. Yeah, this is really wild. Like, I am not this bad of a driver usually. A lot of this could go to. This is the old overpass versus the new one you see up there. I don't think this power is really doing much. I know that I wanted to redo the um, the train hub, like the train roundabout. Now this is just the other end of that dead end. I just don't know if it's worth deleting all of it. Because if I ever need to run power down there. I feel like this power. That's getting power from the train station. Where's this power going? I feel like the train station here is powering something. My guess is that it's that big tower over there. S 
so that's hooked up. That's getting power from the train station. So that doesn't need to exist. And none of this does, stuff does either. So that is powering probably our sulfur mine. Yeah. So some of this stuff just looks kind of dumb. I'll just delete it down to the power pole and then that way if we need it again, I'll make a decision on what to do with this road at a later time. I'm not crazy about that underpass overpass thing either. Yeah, I've thought about turning the creatures off. I'm certainly gonna turn them passive I think once the 1.0 releases. so close I'm sure there's lots of things like that in the world that need to be collected too try to get back up here I like the changes they made to jetpacks too. You get a lot more juice out of your biofuel. So I think the only thing about that original factory that I really am kind of beholden to is circuit boards, computers, and steel beams. So once I pass that here, it's no longer a, a need. But I mean, this is going to get so much bigger. Like, this is going to be bigger than that mountain. I think our storage room is going to be somewhere up around there. Cool. Well, that is really all the time that I have for today. And it is also, um, I think, I think all I need to do so far, if I come up with anything else in this save, uh, I will return to it and, and we'll see what's up. Um, right now, I think all the things that are on my to-do list involve like fixing timing and and fixing stuff that would require information that I don't have, like nodes, node density, and and whether or not certain machines are going to break. So uh, there's no point in really doing any building or deleting. Uh, I may run through some of my spreadsheets on my own time and just kind of see if I can line it up a little bit better to make sense and f sort of make sense of this crazy map uh, of stuff and again some of this is going to change too but uh for now i think that's where i'm going to wrap it up 
Uh, Cosmic, yeah, you came in just at the right time. Uh, I appreciate all the eyeballs today. Thank you ever so much for hanging out. It's a bit of a longer afternoon, but uh, it was fun. Started off in Minecraft, got a little bit of work done underneath the iron farm. Finally got a, a chance to dabble with the crafter and have that sorted. Uh, now we just have to um, figure out how to do stuff with the poppies. And then in this game, we took a quick tour around the world. We've looked at the copper. We've sorted out some of the improper notes that I used to have. Uh, we haven't done the steel side, like the iron side of things and the steel. So I'll have to double check what's happening with those. And uh, we'll go from there. But it should be pretty straightforward. It's I'm, I'm excited to, to get this starting to look a little bit nicer like see some of these have got these design entrances and some of these are just like open doors and i'm really looking forward to getting more of this design stuff done once we have all the new building parts and new windows and different stuff to choose from uh and uh i also need to think about what's happening with aluminum production and all that kind of stuff so we have time especially with 1.0 coming out they will probably not have a lot of updates happening outside of patches so avoid presence thanks to thank you so much for being here and thanks for the follow um welcome in dandelion thanks for the prime and uh, anybody else that used some bits today and subbed today i really appreciate it you all are the reason i get to do this for a living and i really uh appreciate all of you so check out things like joel duggan on instagram and on twitter check out the spawn chunks podcast the citadel cafe podcast and of course patreon.com slash joel duggan is the best way to support me here on stream and it is less than the price of a cup of coffee to keep me streaming so go check it out you'll get to join the discord it's where we hang out in between streams talk about nerdy stuff the uh, rings of power season two drops tomorrow so i'll be talking about that with pixel riffs on the citadel cafe next week the first week of september uh, i'll be back again tomorrow thursday at one o'clock atlantic for uh, minecraft unless things change uh, i don't think i'm going to be doing a double stream tomorrow it's just gonna be two hours of minecraft and that'll be it. I'll see you then. And bye for now. Cheers. <laughs>